Welcome! This video is going to show you how to use the Weebly site and how to actually create your website. So after you've logged in and you've picked your theme, it's going to bring you up to this page. This is where you create your website. So this is where this stuff is not viewable to the public until you press publish. So you can type on any of these. You just already click on it, the stuff that's already there. Um, so our title, let's go ahead and change it to example. And these down here are called pages. So you can change these, but you don't change them on here. You actually have to go to pages at the top. And once you click there, it shows you all the home, services, about, news, and contact. You can change the names of them. You can delete them if you want to. You can copy them. Um, you can hide it in the navigation. So that means you don't want to see it up here. You can press hide and it will disappear and it won't be up there. Um, and if you unclick it, it comes right back. You can add pages by clicking up here. Now, the pages are just going to give you a general um, information at the bottom. All this stuff down here can be deleted. Um, now, the sad part is no part of deleting I've found is easier than just going through and coming up to the top wherever the uh, letters are, pictures are, you put your cursor over it and then just come over and press the X and delete. And then it automatically deletes it for you. So just X delete and just highlight over it, X delete. So I have not found an easier way to do this. Um, if someone else has, please let me know. But once you get that all deleted, you can always come back in here and add things on here too. So now it says drag elements here. So that's where the build comes in. This is all the stuff you can add to your website. So let's just talk about some of these for a second. So there's a section. So this is one section. If you wanted to add another one, all you have to do is click and hold and drag it. Now, we're not going to put a section in there, but you can do title, text, image, gallery of images, slideshow, video, a, a spacer. So it just um, provides more space, a divider. A button so if you wanted to actually like have a button on there that goes to a different website the social icons if you have products um, a map an embedded code all these things here YouTube audio file all these you can add it's as simple as holding it down and bringing it over and dragging and letting go and there you go and you just type what you want to type um, right on there now, the sad part about Weebly is there is no save button. And so if you get to working for a while and then you exit out, it's not going to save. So my recommendation is that you always come over here and press publish whenever you get something big done at least. Um, it's basically your save button. When you hit publish, it's going to load and it's going to come up with, okay, it's published, it's at this website. Now, you can just exit out of here and keep working and knowing that everything you just did is saved. I personally love to use this as my saving button. And there's no problem with publishing, exiting out of the publish um, pop-up, and continuing to work. That is the easiest way I've come to learn that you to not lose any of your information. Now, um, again, just dragging it over and pulling it and showing it where it wants to be. Notice how you see this blue lines over off to the side. Now it's underneath. It's up top or you can put it off to this side. So basically what that means is where do you want it to go? Do you want it to go below that to the side? So if you put it to the side, it's gonna give you columns. So see how now it's on side to side. So I can just type, you know, whatever I want in here. So it, the Weebly is very, very simple to use as all you have to do is really go through here and delete the stuff you don't want and put what you want in there and you can create your own individual website. Now let's go back and talk about the pages. So pages are very simple to use. So if you click on a page, um, it'll bring you up to that page on here, and it just it automatically has stuff on there if you have not deleted it yet, but you can change this to be whatever you want it to be. And um, there are a couple settings over here, the header, um, that's just if you want, like if you wanted a header, it's just going to put something up top here where you can put like if you wanted to give the big title right here services, you could. I tend not to like to do that just because 
um, it kind of blocks out all your information that you're going to be putting down here. Um, but if you're going to have a lot of pages, you might want to consider hiding some of them in your navigation and just having links to them. And what I mean by that is if we go back to our home page, let's go ahead and link a page. So if I, if I want to say, oh, for this part, I want to link it to um, another page, I just click the link up top and standard page, and let's just link it to the services page. Okay, so now it's linked. I don't have to do anything else. I just clicked it and it's ready to go. So now it looks blue. And if I were to publish this, because I want to make sure I'm saving it, and I would click on the website, <clears throat> I would be able to see that, okay, if I go down here, oh, example, click on it, and it brings me up to the services page. So you can link pages to each other. So it's a great way, so that way if you have a lot of pages that you want, it's a great way, easier way to get rid of them at the top. Um, it's just to link them uh, down below. So real quickly though, I do wanna show you an example of uh, kind of what a almost finished one looks like for an educator. I'll go ahead and show you my um, example one I've made for a fourth grade class. All right, so this is the example I'm trying to show you. This is um, just a very introduction website to a classroom at the pretty much at the beginning of school year so you can notice at the top I have some different uh, pages up there um, I also have a button over here to the um, school district homepage and a welcome so if we go through here let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you the actual uh, website that parents or students would view so if I go over to our classroom I have a bunch of different links here now when I was talking to earlier about saving them to different pages. These are all separate pages that I don't have up top. So I've hidden them in my navigation and I've linked them. So for homework, I just click on it and it gives me information about that homework. And if I wanna go back, I can and take a look at maybe the schedule and it'll pop up here with um, the schedule that I have attached. So you can do anything and everything you want on you know, Weebly and getting them to see, you know, what there is for you. The You can use one just for your students. You can use one for your parents. Um, there is no um, difference, but it is an incredible tool to use. Now, keep in mind that this does take some time. This is not something that just is something you can just make in an hour like it takes time to create this website to go through and delete and change your formatting to the way you actually want it it is um, it can be very time-consuming but once you get it done it's very easy to come back now and say oh I want to go back and edit something and it's very easy to go okay I can just come in here jump right in and change anything I want to change and so once you get that all figured out it is easy going from there um, I hope this video helps. Weebly has a lot to offer. It just takes some time to go in there and try it out before you get the hang of it. But please let me know if you have any more questions.